Like I've got youths out there, I've got a daughter around about that age to know, say, yo, like she could be at school and wild gal are gonna do that to her, you mad. Like parents need to come and stop the things before it starts happening to their youths, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, big up my G that sent that to me as well, cause that was powerful, you get me? I can only show pictures to the man then what man showed me in it, kind of video is brutal in it. I'm sure certain people have seen it already, but it's mad brutal, brother. Yeah, so you get me? There's no way any parents gonna wanna see their daughter go through that. So you get me? Remember, prevention is better than cook cure, you know, brothers and sisters, you get me? This sort of thing that young people are facing right now, they're going through a madness, like they're going too fast, way too fast. And what they're going through, the situations in life that they're going through, they're facing them way too early, understand? And there could be nothing good coming out of that. Man's got to remember that. Oh no, you get me? Man's all hearing that a uh, gal 18 year old got raped and that in Peckham and that in Holly Grove and that, you get me? Can't even feel safe on the man them's doorstep, can't even, sisters can't even feel safe outside no more. Yeah, when man them's talking about the sister's safety, right, it's really real out here, the sisters can't really feel safe no more. Just the other day I was telling my youth, you get me, and telling my BMs, like, be careful where you're stepping, you gotta be careful, like, if man's not, just be careful what you're doing in general, car. We're living in a different world right now, you get me? And you always gotta keep the closest people safe around you, you understand what I'm saying? You gotta know what you're doing out here, brothers, like, you get me, 18 year old girls getting raped and that, but, this is what's going on, banner rapists, yeah, we kill any rapist that we see, I shouldn't even be talking like that, but you get me, that's how we live in it, like, any rapist man around us can't stay around us, you get me. And the next thing I've got to say as well, uh, the man them, I see one thing where the man them's rapping about stabbing that, that, that you there in front of his daughter and that, or in front of his uh, little girl outside the shop, yeah, that's what it was, you stabbing a man and you're rapping about it because you stabbed him in front of a youth fan, are oh, you look crazy, you look, I lost your fucking mind, brother, yeah. Is that, is that something to brag about? That ain't gangsta. I keep telling you, man. Stabbing man in front of kids and these things and elderly people and all these uh, civilians, brother. You, what are you calling? You call that gangster, brother. Now you want to rap about it. Make, make, make it worse. It's already out there what you, man, gone and done. Now you want to make it worse and start rapping about it like you're proud of the situation. Before you shut your mouth and just know you took a big L, you, now you're rapping about the L, fam. That ain't no W, brother. That's an L. You joked a man in front, of, in front of a kid outside a shop, G. Yeah? That ain't no gangster, bro. Yeah, man, they need to start just jumping on these guys and telling these guys that they're not gangster like that, brother. Yeah, they have to start understanding. Told man already. Just a little side note as well, yeah. You see why all these gals them are fighting now is because the levels are different. See, back in my time, yeah, the levels was on a thing where, yeah, gal them that fighting, we don't want that as a wife. Don't get me wrong, yeah, she's a G or whatever, but you don't want that as a wife, brother. A gal that's on the floor, knickers all out, tossing and turning. That's the, They lose all sense of dignity, brother. You see that word? That word is powerful, brother. Dignity. So when I see a girl rocking on the floor, or man them back in my time when we was raised up, yeah, we're looking at that like, right, yeah, maybe she can hold her own and maybe she can do certain things, but we don't want that as a wife. I want a thing that that can sit next to me, prim and proper, and act like a lady. I don't want no fucking gal that's rolling around the floor trying to be like a man. You understand? That's what we gotta get into these young girls now. I see their school girls fighting. We gotta train them again to gotta understand decorum. Yeah, don't be fighting on no floor and letting your femininity roll out like some tug. Well, what the fuck's going on? You understand? Those girls that I saw rocking up on some tug thing. Are you crazy? It's like two brothers just thumping up each other. Like, what the fuck is going on? You understand? Ladies, hold some decorum, man. You, you young Gs, you better let start letting these young girls know that you lot ain't feeling no gal that's like, tussling around on the floor, like things all exposed and that, fighting. You get bruised up. Like, come on, man. How you want to see your woman bruised up? How we want to see our young sisters bruised up? Especially like the younger generation, the school girls and that. Like my daughter's generation. I don't want, there's no way I'm looking to see my young daughter bruised up coming home in any sort, sort of shape or fashion. I told man already, that's when it would draw some amount of man where man will do something against the law ASAP like it's not even an itching thing you're just going to that school you're going to wherever the place is you're doing something mad much less you see your daughter come home and um, bloody than that like big gash in her head are you are you alright man then we've got to start telling these sisters the decorum level yeah we don't want to see you like rocking there's a time and if you need to defend yourself defend yourself but don't be rocking for sport you like rocking like a sport out here man you sisters I'm disappointed in that levels you don't know